That's one small step for man, but a giant leap for the sky. And on December 7th, the PGS has got a hold of a space station. While it isn't as glorious as the art from the Igabalots of name server, it is still a milestone in graduate development. The developers of Project Townd have disabled the use of the orbital laser drill, though, even in space, there are still pollution blocks floating somehow. Also the wind turbines work, even though there is no air outside the atmosphere. This is truly a modded Minecraft moment. Our space station closely resembled the scaled from the hit 2018 game Among Us. On the space station, we had a wind turbine array which generated a lot of our energy, along with the nuclear reactor. We also had some mechanism solar panels. Back on Earth, some people had some sussy thoughts when they found out that the PGS had a space station. Some people got scared, and started fleeing the server. But someone else had an idea, Zaktabite and his friend Sailor decided to troll the PGS by trying to steal the space station chip. That chip is required to get up to the station, so Sailor went up to the PGS base and attempted a little trolling. Sailor broke into our base not once, two, or three times. He broke into our base three times. What you may have noticed is that he never went for the space station chip. This is because Sailor is an imposter mug them. <laughs> That is because Sailor is an imposter. He was manipulating Zactobite into being his friend, just so he could get data for him. His attacks were fake. Zack thought that Sailor was seriously getting into the PGS base, but he was really just testing our defenses to make sure they were safe. Not even other PGS members knew of this when it happened. It was all kept extremely secret. He was never formally invited to the PGS, but we talked through an alternate group. In this clip you can see Sailor using our base's shooting thingy to his advantage. Turns out you can place fluids within claimed chunks, so he used a bucket of water to climb up and successfully mug himself in. Sailor is a man of sus, a true warrior who has been celebrated as a legend in the PGS. Zack will never know that his friend is an imposter. Meanwhile, some other members of the server wanted to play something more fun. Project Townie was ungurgy. They wanted something grudgier. So they started playing Nama Factory, and Zaktobite joined with them. He joined on his Greg Tech account. In this clip, we can see Zak using imposterful means to duplicate hundreds of ingots of iron. Even if it's just his own server, Zaktobite uses duping. He never plays fair, he scripts, he bots, he uses hacks, he dupes, uses cheap tricks. And it was at this very moment that Sailor decided that one day, he will troll Zack epically, when the time will come. 
he will completely annihilate Zaxface, no matter the cost. Meanwhile, PGS member Zalgo, the mad scientist, decided to use his real-world knowledge for Minecraft. Zalgo has actual knowledge of neural networks and he decided to create an eye to guess the other player's position in Minecraft. We had to retrain the eye to ensure deprivation to world size, which meant running a bunch of coal mine drops learn off tests again to make sure we are not overtraining it. What this meant is that the eye can guess every player's position with an extremely high accuracy. The code was taken from a project that was originally planned for use in Igabalots of Names Society Simulator. The eye is called the Everk Knowing, but on the other side of the server, Zach also attempted to create new weaponry. He made a Tinker's Construct battle sign that instantly kills you when you try to inflict damage on Zach. This is a very exploity way of combat. Instead of using swords or guns like real warriors, he used a cheaty way to deflect all of the damage. With his new technology, Zach attempted to fight the PGS. Here's how it went.